You mentioned detoxification. Do you do you subscribe to a lot of different types of that practice? You know, for a while I was looking into it, and um, I actually came up with an acronym, which I which I it's called the DES system, and it stands for detoxification, elimination, and stabilization. So the D is for detoxification of the body, eliminating. E, eliminating food allergies and sensitivities, and then S, mm. stabilizing blood sugar. And I, and I thought this model worked really, really well for everybody. And it still does, but we have to rearrange the letters. So, for instance, if we take someone that's already sick, we take someone that has an autoimmune disorder or Hashimoto's, and they're not feeling well, and I put them through a detoxification protocol, a lot of times they will get sicker mm -hmm. versus getting better faster. So what we want to do is try to get nutrients into the body first, stabilize the blood sugar, get them healthy. And if you're a healthy person, so, for instance, I go through detoxification processes every single day. We all do, right? We sweat, we urinate, we defecate. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, and we, we breathe. So that's how we detoxify the body. You can speed that up, and that's the whole idea. Let's speed it up, but in doing that, make sure the person's healthy before you speed up that process. It's kind of like cleaning the house, you know? All of a sudden, you're going to start moving furniture, you're going to start dusting, and you're going to create all this dirt. Sure. Same thing with the bloodstream. You're detoxifying the body, so you're really kicking up the performance of the liver, and it's kicking out back into the bloodstream all these, these toxins. So people start to get achy, they feel like they've got a fever, you know, uh, basically like they're getting the flu. Mm -hmm. So make sure the person's healthy before you can detoxify anything from the body, which is important, but make sure they're healthy and do it in a safe manner. So it does work. Uh, there are better ways to do it than others, but um, it's something I do support. And what are those ways? I mean, you can you can buy stuff over the counter, the liver detox uh, right, pills right. and things like that, and yeah. there's obviously a, a number of different ways to do it as well. But I think the easiest and simple way, simplest way for people to do it is, is really just to speed up, try to speed up the, the body's own process of detoxifying itself okay. so by drinking more water, mm -hmm. simply by doing that, sweating. So, for instance, I use a far infrared sauna. I try to do it two okay. to three times a week. So I just really just try to sweat out the toxins if you're not exercising and doing that regularly. So I use that along with, again, a nutritional protocol because now I'm going to start to bring out some of these toxins in my body. So drinking lots of water, sweating, making sure people are regular. I mean, you should be going to the bathroom <laughs> every day. Mm -hmm. Some people don't go to the bathroom every day and multiple times throughout the day. Um, so drinking lots of water so you can speed up those processes. Uh, and then, of course, supporting those organs. So when you see these things in the store, right, you see the detoxification, right, you know, lose 10 pounds in 10 yeah. days. You know, what they're doing is you're trying to remove uh, the sad diet, right, the standard American diet. So let's get off some of the foods we've been eating. Let's focus on eating more pure foods, vegetables, mm -hmm. juicing. Uh, so our body really starts to speed up the process of detoxification. And then add some supplements. Uh, milk thistle that helps the, the liver. Vitamin C, glutathione, these things really speed up and help support the, the detoxification system of the body.